Now, a little tropical congestion going on in the Atlantic today. We have two name systems. We have Fiona, we have Gaston, we have a Invest uh, that is moving into the Caribbean right over Trinidad and Tobago right now. And two tropical waves, one moving into the central Atlantic, the other one coming off the coast of Africa. We'll take a look first at Fiona, powerful hurricane, category four, well-developed eye, uh, well-protected. You can see the dark, uh, then the cold cloud tops completely encircle the eye, uh, so no dry air near the center. And this one is headed toward Bermuda, but a direct landfall is unlikely. It'll be tomorrow night, early Friday, with a close approach, some big waves, and likely some wind and rain, but not a direct hit there. And then a direct hit is possible in Nova Scotia on the weekend, early weekend, as the uh, storm turns what we call post-tropical, starts to take uh, fall-like storm uh, characteristics. And that'll, as it gets up into the colder water and uh, lots of wind shear going on at this point, that's out four and five days. Computer model tracks in great agreement with that. So from Fiona, we go to Invest 98, and this one trying to get better organized, having a difficult time doing it. There's so much interaction with land here, all the way back through South America, Venezuela, uh, somewhat of a low level circulation trying to get going over Trinidad and Tobago. And they're, they're, uh, watching the satellite loop during the day, it seemed like there might be multiple vortices uh, around that area. Uh, so it's still very disorganized, but it is expected to move into a more favorable weather environment in the central Caribbean. So it could develop into a depression or storm at any time. And the computer model tracks taking it into the northwestern Caribbean early next week and then eventually into the Gulf of Mexico. Most of them, there are some outliers, uh, but uh, most take it uh, what is uh, developing possibly into a tropical storm or hurricane into the Gulf of Mexico and uh, a landfall uh, along uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. Obviously, if this does develop is pretty likely. If that happens, it would be uh, Wednesday, Thursday, maybe even Friday next week, depending on the future tracks. There's lots of warm water ahead of this. You know, you want 80 degrees or above. These bright uh, red areas are 85 degree temperatures. So this is uh, warm energy that this uh, developing system can tap into. So we'll watch it for you, keep you up to date on it. But right now it has not developed. If it's named, it would be Hermine.